Okay. Welcome to the Nook on the Voluntary Virtues Network. I am Steve. Mike. John. Pamela. Christy. Chelsea. Riley. Let's have uh, Riley's beer corner today. So I'm drinking a delicious dark beer by uh, Ballast Point called Victory at Sea. It's a um, it's a porter Good with thing. coffee and vanilla, and it's ten percent, and it's doing the job. <laughs> it does and the it's trick. Really good. I gotta recommend it. It can be a little pricey if you're not at the right location, but you know, shop around and you'll you'll find a good deal out there, I'm sure. And uh, it's definitely worth worth a, a good price. So. Victory yeah. at Sea is a good beer. It's a solid beer. I'm gonna be honest. I have some issues with Victory at Sea. Really? It does. It does. I, I would it, love to hear it that. does the trick. Something about coffee and it bugs me. What? Yeah. You don't like the coffee, coffee and beer? What's the, I, the thing what's is, I on? love both. <laughs> I love both, but together. Uh, uh. You need to separate your. Well, what about my morning one? Ooh. Well, that's that's, <laughs> that's a completely different set of situation. I mean, I mean no. you love his morning. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do. No, uh, I think we all do. Okay, so. Um, the coffee, the coffee in Victory at Sea, it's really, really strong. Whereas in Steve's Morning Wood, it is not as prominent. It doesn't like, stick, it's like out. Victory at sea. It doesn't yeah. stick out in your mouth. Stick so out. Much. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like how that sounds. <laughs> Forgive me, like I said, it's doing its job. Not a family-friendly show. I think, you know, I, mean, I think we can say that pretty solidly. Yeah, I know. I'm not exactly that being show. friendly. Fourteen years and older. Well, yes, only. Fa family Please. friendly is in like you know old Warner Brothers cartoons are family friendly. Like sure, yeah, you know. We well, do you say fuck a lot. Oh, okay. yeah. What about friendly. animal friendly? Right, right. Oh, <laughs> no. ah, yeah. friendly. right. Yeah. They have Morningwood too, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure. Animals? No, our family. Yeah. <laughs> families are animals. <laughs> oh, animal, animals. I thought I heard families. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, we thought we'd cover animal rights tonight. I, I think rights is a whole big pile of difficulty. I think we should discuss... Ethics. Yeah. I think this is an ethics issue and not a rights issue. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I would concur. Now, wh where is yeah. the, the line in the sand drawn between rights and ethics? And, well, and rights is, a, is a, an abstraction. It is yeah. an abstraction. Mm. And ethics, ethics. Are, ethics, I would say, are two. Ethics, um, I would say, are uh, a set of behaviors associated with uh, something we identify with, such as business ethics, religious ethics. There's all kinds of schools of ethics, you know, sure. that are uh, uh, associated with a certain... Acceptable behavior. Right. Whereas... Rights are an abstraction or uh, yeah, an abstract Acceptable idea. Acceptable is kind of a hard word. Yeah, well, but that's kind of what it is. Well, it's what a culture this. accepts as okay. Mm -hmm. Well, but see that I, this is precisely the argument I didn't really want to get into. <laughs> let's let's focus back on the animals. Okay. So I, as All far right. as I know, I don't think any of us are vegetarians. Just to put that out there mm -hmm. first. I, I've, I've done my, my, uh, my attempted tours of duty a couple times. Yeah. I've never really quite stuck, stuck to it. it. Well, yeah. the reason why I say For like... ethical reasons, though? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It, um, mainly because uh, something about like uh, my personality or something, but I have, it, right? I have multiple ex-girlfriends who have been vegetarians. <laughs> and I don't really oh, so oh vegetarian that explains a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, well, it was just... Okay. Well, it was just like matter of circumstance. Okay, well, so she's a vegetarian... <laughs> I'm not. You're gonna be with she each other. She doesn't like the eating. whole meat thing, so let me give this a shot. So I mean, it's happened multiple times, and it, um, it, I, I, I totally understand the reasoning behind it. Okay, so poor little animal, he doesn't want to hurt anybody, but yet he gets sexed out. You know, does he really not want to hurt anybody? Exactly. Uh, okay, well, okay, so we're not, we're what not, animal? okay, we're Cows not, chickens aren't looking to get anybody. yeah, but we're not slaughtering, like, mountain lions for food, we're, you know, we're taking out cows and goats, and, yeah, but why is it any different, a cow, goat, any different than a mountain lion? Uh, that's a good point, is it? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't know. think it's any different. People are getting upset about the dog feast in China. 
Yeah, festival, that's no different eating, than I don't that's think no it's different either. than eating. But anything dog else. is man's best friend. You don't go around eating man's best friend. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure, but it's a cow it's, could be too. Exactly, if you had and in it. India it is. It, right, it is. Uh, well, sacred. Yeah. Cow, yeah. cows are kind of dumb though. The cultures in which they mm, eat they dogs. Wild Sweet. ones were actually very smart. Aren't cultures that have a lot of animals uh, actually? I'm sorry. Strong, yeah, you yeah, trying to say yeah, something, but let me just say something real quick. I, I found that wild animals that are domesticated. The domesticated versions are always really stupid compared to the wild version. Mm -hmm. Turkeys, like for instance, is one of the hardest <laughs> animals to hunt because they're so smart and so good at hiding. But domesticated turkeys are dumb as shit. <laughs> it's funny you say that. It's the same thing with domesticated man. Yeah, uh, that's a good point. I was hoping yeah, somebody yeah. was going to bring that up, yeah. actually. Yeah, that, like, you know, so, you know, like, you, we think of cows as being really stupid. But, you know, like, even, like, I've seen videos of just, like, you know, somebody's cows on a farm where they figured out how to turn on, like, you know, like, host faucets. Cows? And stuff. Yeah. yeah. A cow will figure cows out, yeah, turn wow. on a faucet and all that sort of stuff. And different. they'll even figure out how to open their cages and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, the, and that's like, you know, at a farm where somebody's just got a cow or something. Whereas, like, you know, you see these videos of, like, you know... Uh, the ranch. Yeah. yeah. The, the, yeah. You know, the, where, they, where they get the beef for McDonald's or whatever. And it's just, like, thousands of them. Right. And those, those guys, those cows, you know, there's not going on much going on there because of the stress or how they were born and all this sort of stuff. What they're fed when they're, you know, when they're, uh, when they're a small calf or something. They're not that smart. You know, you can just kind of tell by so their actions. So because they're not whatnot. smart, we're allowed to slaughter them? We're I think to kill them? that's the general. That the well, general? That, well, we have to uh, kill something. Why? We could be vegetarians. No, here's why. No, we can't. No, yes, here's why. Could. Here's why we have to kill <laughs> something. Okay, you try that, Christy. <laughs> No, yeah, here's why. You know, here's why we have to kill something. Well, I mean, if <laughs> technology progressed to a degree, maybe. No, I don't know. Because life feeds on life in this temporal state of becoming in which we find ourselves in. Well, plants don't. Well, they feed off the off life of the, the sun, so to speak. Things they decay. They photosynthesize. Yeah. Venus yeah. flytraps. There's uh, life Venus in soil. Venus flytraps, there you go. <laughs> and there's life in soil. That yes, they do. That's yeah. true. You yeah. need, you need dead the, animals yeah, to exactly. create exactly. Life yeah. the soil. Yeah. The yeah. lowest life forms. Yeah. Are, yeah. 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 That's yeah. a good point. Yeah. life as we know it. Yeah. And as far as cows being smart in terms of being able to turn on water faucets, I work on a ranch, and let me tell you, the only cows I know that turn on water faucets are the cows that are doing it because they're using the the faucet as a scratching post. <laughs> and they well, I'm not saying I'm not saying every cow does it. I'm just saying like I've seen they, videos of it on YouTube. They inadvertently like, oh, turn on the, the, the water faucets, which is really dumb because it wastes really a lot do. of water. If they were and smart, they wouldn't use, do that. Do you right. use uh, those magnets? You have put have them swallow those magnets. No, I no, I worked. We don't do that. Uh, I I've worked with a few people who had uh, um, dairies in Idaho, okay. and. They would have these magnets that are about this long, and they would have them swallow them because the cows would eat everything. Hmm. And it would tear up their stomach oh, if wow. they didn't have that magnet in there to huh. collect all the nails and, oh, wow. and screws and shit that they That's would horrible. That's That's poop or yeah. as they're eating. I wonder if it's because there's so the nothing to eat that they will resort to eating anything that. Well, it's just that when they eat, up, eat their food off the ground, they're just hoovering, yeah. basically. Mm -hmm. Why not clean the ground that they're Yeah, I mean, you get a magnet and you clean <laughs> up the like effing <laughs> nails and screws and you prevent them from Scrappy doing it that way. But, I mean... Lazy. Yeah, you, you can know. get a magnet on a stick. They make them. Like, <laughs> yeah. Just kinda, yeah. 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 I mean, that's, they have... That's animal cruelty. Tractor yeah. and implement. Yeah. You drag behind a tractor with... Uh, yeah. Pick it up. Yeah. I mean, but anyway, no, I, no, that's, yeah, that's, that's so animal rights. Thing. We're not, we, we're, being yeah, so I think, so, so getting back to it, I think, I think you have to draw a line somewhere. And vegans, I believe, would say that you have to try it at plants, but I don't think that there's a good reason plants for that. Plants feel, plants are... Exactly. Sentient thought. to yeah, a degree. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Right. They know they're being... Yeah. They, they can feel it, they can hear it, apparently. I don't know how they do that with that ears, but it's pretty far out. They don't hear it so, in the same so way we speak. hear, right, yeah. but they sense it. Right. They, they know, in a way. Right. And so and they and they react to it. They produce enzymes. Yeah, it's not like they're non-reactionary towards it. Mm -hmm. And I've heard like an environmentalist, animal-friendly, um, you know, individual speak out, you know, in response to that question of, you know, what about plants? And he he was basically running down. Well, okay, so evolution has determined plants to not have the capacity to to run away or to to flee from the situation, whereas cows unless you beat them at the game, will, you know, not want to be pinned up and slaughtered. Mm -hmm. 
But using that logic, if there was, you know, what's the word, uh, a mutation in a, in a baby uh, calf where it was for some reason born without legs and it couldn't run away, then it would be completely justifiable using that logic to slaughter it and use it for meat. But so, it would still try to fight for its life in a way that it But what if, what if plants would but plants do so, can't but it doesn't fight, have not, the, the it's legs It's not that they don't away. fight, it's that they can't fight. Yeah, they can't fight incapable. us, they fight other plants, though. Unless they're they poisonous. Fight other what, plants. what if the plant's yeah. poisonous? Is that, that's, a, that's a defense mechanism, isn't it? Sure. Yeah. I think it's interesting that it doesn't get talked about too much in like the whole anarchist group because... You know, they're big on uh, non aggression and stuff like that, but I mm -hmm. see a lot of them being paleo. Yes. Which, you know, I think paleo kind of overboards on the meat sometimes, and I don't think that that's very healthy. And I've tried to be vegetarian on and off, like, throughout my life. And I, I kind of think it comes down to different bodies need different things. Some people do need meat, some people don't need meat, but it has to do with how the animal is raised up well, to slaughter. There, there's That's there's it. certain it nutrients you can't yeah. get from plants, though, like K2. Vitamin K2 you can't get from plants, and you need it for uh, calcium. 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 Well, at least in this day and age, we can supplement that other ways. Sure. Yeah, there's, 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 you can, there's a way you can to take synthetic. Synthetic. But, yeah. but that, it still has to come from a... Uh, a uh, source that has uh, K2. Yeah, meat. Yeah. Okay, I mean, there's no way to just get the molecules and, and like jam them together. Okay. There, 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 there is a, there is one, there's one, there's one situation, and that's some disgusting soy product. But soy has <laughs> other problems like yeah. phytoestrogens. Yeah. And the fact that most of it's, the grand majority of it is uh, genetically modified. And right. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it has, it has, I forget what it's called, but it basically yeah. blocks... Uh, vital nutrients like zinc and calcium, hmm. which are also things that are are diminished in a vet vegetarian diet. Right. So, if if you're trying to go vegetarian, but, soy is not what you want to do. At the same time, going back to what Pamela was, you know, getting at, like you can, you, there are alter alternative ways to get those nutrients that you can't necessarily get. Yeah. That you, With me. Yeah. Yeah. Except for K two. Okay. Except for K two apparently, <laughs> but I mean, you c they can't synthetically create the compounds of K two in the in the lab. I'm sure they can't isolate probably. it, but the point it, it is the question absorb. is, do you really want the synthetic form? <laughs> Don't also, you just want that juicy? It may be it may be <laughs> pro prohibitively expensive too. It tastes sure. really good. I mean, it well, does. usually when they synthesize yeah. something, it's cheaper, right? Usually, Not necessarily. Yeah. Usually, but yeah, it depends on, you know, production and, you know, the, the equipment and technologies, mm -hmm. and the level of development, and what have you, I'm sure. But I think for me, like, the issue goes back to, like, wanting to get away from having to harm other life to live. And I think that's just as noble and as virtuous as that is in itself. I think it's counter to what our situation in life actually is and that's going back to life feeds on life and and going back to what Nietzsche that doesn't mean you have to be cruel though no right. not at all yeah, you, yeah. you no see that's exactly correct which is what I, I was I hoping fully we believe, get to on this whole thing I fully like, believe yeah. that we are meant to be stewards of nature including animals on this planet and to be uh, shepherds of being in, in regards to all of being but to try to, you know, or completely cut out, uh, you know, utilizing life for life is to go against the design of life in our present mm -hmm. manifestation and, you know, mode of operation. Well and if you really want to go the long distance, why not just become, you know, Janes and wait till fruit falls off trees? Because that's uh, as close as you're going to get to really fulfilling that right. noble mandate, yeah. as noble as it is. So I, you know, I, uh, I kind of fall in line with a Nietzsche and like a, a humanitarian Nietzsche stance is, you know, the 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 love of life and and the love of fate of of our predicament of life feeding on life and yes, being as absolutely as uh, caring and as uh, you know, kind to animals as you can be, but recognizing and and finding a sacredness in in the realization that our lives are dependent on the death of other organisms. And one day, 
ideally, our, the death of our own organism will go on to, to feed new life mm. after we're gone. If we're not embalmed. If, no, and the pro, if There's, not involved, and if not put into a metal yeah. fucking casket, yeah. that's right. Yeah. And yeah. I've yeah. brought into a prison yeah. of yeah. a steel cage yeah. till as long until the earth explodes in the great supernova of the sun or what have you. Mm-hmm. And that to me is the literal definition of hell to be, if for as long as possible, to be separated from the rest of nature yeah. inside yeah. the iron. A, I've expressed that uh, specifically to my family is. Don't if I do die in an accident, fight the go fight the county, get my body back before they inject chemicals in it, sure. and yeah. put me in a hole in the ground. Yeah. Even in a wooden yeah. coffin, because the wood yeah. will yeah, deteriorate, yeah. and yeah. then you know no, you I'll go back them. into they the. Have, they have where you can place them down. You can, you can place them, them tree, down. Yeah. You can yeah. put, put plant it yeah. into a tree. Right. You can be planted yeah. into a shark. Yeah. 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 A tree thing your family. I'd rather I'd rather the coyotes dig me up and and cart me off to the four corners and go back. Then yeah, go back to it all. Then be fucking isolated in the yeah. metal cube yeah. for yeah. the rest of, you know, God knows how long. Absolutely. Well, that's speaking cool you said about, that, huh? like, the sacredness of it, too, I think that's where, I think the most respectable way to eat an animal is, you know, how Native Americans or yeah. Avatar or whatever it is, you know, <laughs> how they they really were present with it. They, right. they were with it when it died. Like, they have a lot of respect for it. Like yeah. Give thanks. We're so desensitized yeah. because we just see these packages of meat at the store. Mm-hmm. Right. We yeah. have no, we're so far away from the cow. Right. We're so far yeah. away from it, yeah. you know. Yeah. And I kind it's of well, think personally, it's if you can't kill the animal, it's a problem. Right, yeah. if you can't kill it, you shouldn't be eating right. it. Right, and that's what Thoreau said, you know, as long as there are slaughterhouses, there will be war. And hmm. it's a quote similar to that, yeah, yeah that, like that, that removes the, the, the you know, the, divorces us from the connection, mm-hmm. from the cycle. Exactly. Well, you know, I mean, I, going along that, that thread, I, I suppose, is... Uh, so, at one point or another, I'm sure everybody's seen a video that, like, Pete has put out, you know, or shows, like, the, the, the way the chickens are treated, the way yeah. the cows are treated, and all that, and they, and they do that because the it's... Chickens tried, are probably one of the worst. Yeah. yeah. It, it, that it, stuff is god-awful. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not right for right that. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's tragic, it's horrible, and it's wrong. And they show that, and everybody goes, oh, that's horrible, that's tragic, and that's wrong. Let's go get some And chairs. everybody agrees on it because it is wrong. That's yeah, the thing. It's like yeah. everybody sees that and goes. It's suffering. Like, yeah. yeah I don't need to see anymore. I don't want to yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, every, every, I don't know too many people who've actually sat there and watched the whole thing through. Everybody gets it. Like, after the first minute, they're off, like, got it, horrible. You know? Yeah, watch and Earthlings. Sick for watch Earthlings. Earthlings. Oh, yeah. I've not seen that. Either. After I saw yeah. that PETA one for the first time, I was vegetarian for like three years after that. Yeah, and that's that, funny about vegetarian. In my episode of vegetarian. Yeah, and, and that and that's the thing is um, is uh, you know that you know we're we're talking about ethics and all that sort of stuff. It goes okay, so like I'm, I'll, I'll, I guess to give my my perception of it is um, you know I stay away from red meat and just try to like have meat in general and be kind of like sparing in my diet just yeah. for a health reason just because. You know, there, there, there's different, you know, uh, studies and science done on whether or not meat's good for you, whether or not meat's bad for you. I just look at it like this. is like, okay, so meat takes longer to digest in your system. Uh, let's maybe cut down on that. Let's, you know. It's acidic. That's what we get with all the cheap meat that gets yeah. pushed on and people eat too Yeah, much because, like, you know, what you're getting from these big factory farms is, like, they're not well fed. They're fed well enough to get yeah. big and then die. That's that's how it and works. They're, and they're fed and they're, fed and they're fed and they're fed corn, genetically uh, modified which, corn, yeah. 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 soy yeah. and cotton. Plus they've got <laughs> so all then of you pair oh. that and you're eating that yeah. and you become that. It's a fucking mess. The factory factory farming isn't much diff, um, much better either. With these uh, with these uh, chemical fertilizers, the plants aren't getting the nutrients they need. They're getting the yeah. nutrients that make them grow bigger, but the those bigger fruits and vegetables aren't nutritious because they're not getting the other, other hey they're just getting nitrogen. Hey man, that's not what the H W O said, all right? Well, yeah, we're W O thank you. The hill. Yeah. 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 And then it fucks with the bees too, that. doesn't it? Right? I mean that's the thing. They that, said that there's yeah. nothing you know inferior to genetically modified anything with anything else. Like get the fuck. Well, I'm not saying GMOs. I'm I'm not talking about GMOs specifically. I'm just saying the the chemical yeah. the and chemical the fertilizers. Well the thing is though is that GMOs are grown. One of the main reasons why they're actually grown is so they can handle the, 
the chemicals that kill everything else. Yeah. That, that the, allow them to grow regardless the, of the chemicals. The Monsanto. Yeah, it's a big effing mess. And, uh... Well, I know everybody's talking about ethics as far as eating meat, but I mentioned something earlier about ethics as far as protecting animals mm -hmm. and their rights, specifically wildlife. Sure. Building on land and killing them because they uh -huh. kill on your property, they eat your kitty, they eat your dog. And then I mean, that's immoral? That it's not immoral, but I don't think that it's fair that we're continuing to build. We have all these houses here, and we're expanding, and there's yeah. very little land left. Or even deforestation. Yeah, and all the homes from poor animals, yeah. and we have nowhere to go. Yeah. 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 I remember when I lived in Florida, the house was built, and there were just a few houses in that, that area. It was not cookie cutter, but to the effect that you would see a bobcat every morning, oh, wow. clockwork, wow. 6 o'clock. And then as the neighborhood grew and right. houses built, just never Pushed saw them. Again. Yeah. Yeah. Further and further. Yeah. Or yeah. Killed, killed them. Who knows yeah. what happened to <clears throat> Another yeah. thing, too, I think, is um, that when teacher pointed out to me in my nutrition classes, um, so you have, you know, with the conventional farming and stuff, all these animals being kept in these really small spaces and abused, you've got a lot of fear. They have a lot of fear stored yeah. in their bodies. You're eating that. And you're oh, eating oh, that, yeah. you know? Yeah. And yeah. All those hormones yeah. of the fear and... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Vibration. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah? The vibration. vibration. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the vibratory frequency of their being entering yours Inferior. and becoming yeah. uh -huh. your body. And you absorb that. And you wonder so why, you know? It just plays into the hands of... Sure. So Go how ahead. can we eat Good meat, happy meat, happy meat. Buy a local yourself. grass like, fed. Yeah. Chelsea said, if, you yeah. if you're allowed to keep your guns, yeah. then go <laughs> hunting. <laughs> exactly. There you go. Yeah, I think, I think uh, Whole Foods. I know actually, Whole Foods has a a grading system in which uh, the highest level is has something to do with the way that the slaughter is too. So there's oh, really? they have there's, like there's, humanely yeah. raised. Right, humane. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. Huh. And why do we have That's to pay more for that? I mean, I understand, it's more labor no, I understand, I understand yeah. that, but that should just be the standard practice. I well, it should be. Right. Right. Should. Yeah, but, but you can't put out mass amounts. You pay of more food for the labor. You got to yeah. charge more for the yeah. product. Yeah. You know and what I mean, it's just plus they have to hide the fact that they're robbing us every day. Right. What do you the, mean? The government's robbing us. How so? Well, I mean, I know they are. <laughs> <laughs> In relation to this, In this particular instance. Well, well, they give they give kickbacks to these these big factory farms. Right. 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 They're robbing us of our fucking health. It's really for yes. a, doll, a cheaper product. Yes. But if you think if you eat less meat, so you'll be real able to afford farm more animals? expensive meat. <laughs> right. you, yeah. Know? Yeah. you don't need it? to eat that much of yeah. it. You know, you just pay more for the better quality and eat I, less. I think another another thing is um, it's it's less accessible. Is though. waste. That's true. Uh, how how. Ter it, it, not only are we treating these animals terribly, but then we waste. So much of their their corpse. Yeah. Afterwards. Don't utilize their high. I thought they thousands of thousands of thousands, them, thousands possibly millions of tons of of food that could have fed people yeah, is getting thrown out thrown out every day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah the, Not to mention what it does to the people that live around those yeah. places. <laughs> you know, so like I don't know if you've seen the pig farming video or Ooh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's yeah. The, the waste yeah. lakes. Yeah, and, yeah. and the neighbors that are getting sprayed toxic. with all this shit every day. Like oh. it's toxic to the environment, right. to the people around it. It's it's but bad business. That was another we kinda danced around and got close, but yeah, the cost of meat is artificially cheap. Mm -hmm. with, with yeah. These subsidized farms, the externalities, the, ge the GMO foods are fed, the cheap sure. food they're fed. It's all it drops the price of meat to where it's generally affordable, right? So like better managed, better product is reflects the real price of what meat should be, and then that would naturally adjust mm -hmm. how much we consume. Mm -hmm. You know, we would mm -hmm. naturally consume less stuff. There would be sort less, of what, what yeah. Which Chelsea was saying, yeah. right? You know, and it, and it has to be if you think about uh, just just something simple like this. Like, so you go to McDonald's, you get a salad. That salad will cost you more than a cheeseburger will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so of course, there's something not right there because of labor, the time involved in raising, uh, you know, uh, a cow from birth till you know uh, age of slaughter, whenever that may be, and the time to you know raise the lettuce, the tomatoes, and all of that is so much faster 
but yet the the salad costs more. It's because it's it's subsidized. Well, and then yeah. they throw a bunch of calorie laden croutons and yeah, yeah, yeah. and other stuff on it, so it doesn't mayo, even yeah. it doesn't even end up being that much more healthy. Yeah, well, it's assuming it, it, that the hamburger is a hamburger. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, it's really not meat uh, at this point. I don't think. If you're talking about like the intelligence of the animal, and that makes the difference too. I mean, I love bacon, but pigs are as smart as dogs, yeah. from what I know. I and think, I think uh, a good, a good uh, level that that we should consider at least at least for maybe uh, uh, considering nap. The nap is. Uh, Dolphins, a, yes or no? A, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I think dolphin, I though. think okay. yes, and I'll tell you why. All right. They Killing have a. Dolphins? They have a. No, I think oh. I think they should be. <laughs> they should <laughs> protect, protect, <laughs> protected. Protected. With, like yeah, accepted person. as as uh, a species yeah. that we recognize as a, uh, under the non-aggression principle, because they have a theory of mind. Okay. You know, they, but you're creative. you know, I, they you say, well, you know. well, no, no, it's this. Uh, um, uh, there's a there's a test called the Sally Ann test, and they use this with with children to determine uh, a theory of mind basically. So that so Sally has a cookie and she sticks it in a box. Okay. Then Sally leaves the room, and Ann takes the cookie out of the box, puts it in the basket, and then Sally comes back, and then they ask, which uh, or where will Sally look for the cookie? And if the child picks the box, then they know that, uh, that they understand that the children have a theory of mind. In other words, that uh, Sally uh, was out of the room, so she wouldn't know that the cookie was moved. Mm -hmm. If they pick the basket, then that suggests that uh, the that the child believes that well, they don't have a theory of mind. They don't think well. I saw the cookie go into the basket so she should know right and uh there's there's a few there's a few species that they've been able to show have this theory of mind some primates dolphins elephants and corvids which are like ravens right. and and Crows. Yeah. yeah so they did a study too on uh dolphins where they would teach them a routine you know just a series of jumps and things like that and uh they would reward the dolphins with food whenever they did the routine. And then they'd change the routine. When they learned the new routine, they'd reward them. And then they stopped rewarding them. So the dolphins started going through the series of routines that they had already learned looking for a treat. Mm -hmm. And then uh, finally uh, one of the dolphins, whatever, ended up doing its own thing, just, just doing things. It created a new routine it, it, for which it was rewarded, <laughs> and thereafter it did a different routine every time. Oh wow! So, so it created so its own routine. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To yeah. Them. yeah. yeah. Um, it's fascinating. Might I mention that dolphins may try to rape you? Yeah, they, <laughs> they won't try to kill you. They won't. Dolphins. And uh, some people will let them. Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah. They will. Those dolphin trainers. Uh, I, I, I've heard stories. Really? Yeah, yeah, I've, yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. But yeah. Uh, um, is that really, really rape, though? Well, they'd let them, like, come on their leg and stuff. If it isn't so consensual. As long as it's yeah, not, yeah. you know, no, breaking I mean, any uh, kind of boundaries. I swam with thing. dolphins when I was an adolescent. And they'd tried to drag me into the restricted <laughs> room. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. And, and, uh, uh, marathon. Key marathon? Yeah. 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 Sugar Lake. Yeah. Dolphins, I think, are one of the only other species besides humans who have sex for fun. Yeah. Well, I mean, and then you look at elephants. I mean, not that people eat elephants, like, on the regular in our culture, but, like, they're artistically creative and... They're just Dude, he watched a video yeah. where he yeah. painted a picture of oh, an elephant. That, 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 yeah. that, that was just that was, that was astounding, cool. the, the degree of intelligence yeah. involved in that. Yes. I got to Did the elephant this. have a beret on, though? I, <laughs> a I saw a documentary called Healing Cancer from the Inside Out, and it right. documented how, although we might have genes and habits that create the seeds for stuff like cancer growth, it's actually the, the meat from animals, the protein from meat from animals, that is a fertilizer that makes it grow. Yeah. And it was a pretty compelling documentary, Healing Cancer from the Inside Out. And so when I saw that, I was like, well, I'm just going to become vegetarian so I can keep smoking. No, <laughs> that, was my, you know, that was my experimentation <laughs> with vegetarianism. But I will say this, though, just before closing, that 
the only the biggest reason for me as to why eating animals would be immoral is what if a higher you know sentient being came and Tried was like oh us. i'm gonna harvest yeah. the humans yeah. for me right yeah. would that be yeah. moral yeah. but at the same time i'd say no because I'm human. Right. <laughs> hey, it's because my desire is to not eat. Desire, and right. I can communicate they, those desires. They, and but they, we just don't understand them. They right. may be communicating. And, and I will say this. Working with cows, their mama cows are very loving. Well, good mama cows. Mm -hmm. There are some mama cows that we call modern day mama cows that just don't give a shit. That once their babies are gone, they're like, hell yeah, I can do whatever I want. But they're very, they're, their majority of mama cows are very caring and loving towards their child, and they will protect it as best they can or call for it for as long as they can before they just are hopeless. And so, you know, it's, it's a difficult task, but going back to the Nietzschean humanitarian approach to this is the way life is in our here and now, I mean, it's, it's what we have to deal with, and we have to be thankful and, and revere the sacredness of life and give thanks for it. And, what have you. Well, if you had like a like a dolphin that was mechanical of the right. sort, you know, <laughs> like now it's a mechanical dolphin, it, you know, but it's sentient, right? Would would like you could have sex with that dolphin and I'd not yes. have it be like a weird bestiality thing? Am I no, right? I like, would still be weird intelligence. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it would be would weird. It have the same intelligence yeah, of a dolphin. Yeah, but I, mechanical yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Might be, oh, hold on, guys. Uh, hey, we're uh, we're way over time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, well, <laughs> have a good one, guys. Until next time. Have a good one.